Hello guys, so good evening. Uh, meron tayo dito ng desktop computer. Then ang gagawin natin ngayon, uh, i-reprogram natin siya. So actually, itong desktop computer na to, ito yung inayos ko na to display. So yung problema niya is nasa processor. So bago natin siya i-reprogram, kailangan muna natin alamin kung meron ba siyang mga importante files. So, no? so kung na-open pa yung Windows, then kailangan natin gumawa ng backup. For example, ito, ginawa ko dito uh, from document. So, uh, nilagay ko muna siya sa drive din niya. Then, tingnan natin yung iba kung meron pa din. So, for, for example, dito sa desktop niya, dito, meron tayo dito data play, online, then, ito. So, kailangan natin siyang na uh, i-backup din. Okay. Copy. And, let's move dun sa uh, sa backup. Ano? Sa so drive D. Sa so dito siya computer, then local disk D, so may, may ginawa ko dyan backup files ito, then desktop, so ito naman is documents, so nagkabaliktad pagpapalitin ko na lang siya so folder then lagay ko dito is documents then paste ok, so yan then, tingnan natin kung mayroon ba siyang iba pang files. For example, ah, sa downloads. So, mayroon siya. Downloads, ano? So, pwede din cut. Then, proceed to backup files. Then, create ka dito ng new folder. Para hindi ka malito kung saan mo siya ibabalik. Then, pangalan mo ng down downloads then paste <coughs> okay then back and tingnan natin kung meron ba siyang music so wala naman uh, videos so mer uh, nandun sa sa iba ano? okay so tingnan natin to explain ko muna sa inyo yung gagawin na na so, kasi ang gagawin natin dito, from Windows 7, i-upgrade natin siya into Windows 10. Kasi yung memory niya, uh, 8 GB na, then mataas yung processor niya, yung gigahertz niya. So, basta mataas siya, then may sarili na din siyang uh, uh, add-ins, add-ins, VGA, ano, video graphics array. So, kaya... Kaila, uh, pwede na natin siyang i-upgrade into Windows 10. Ngayon, ang um, problema lang dito, uh, kung makikita nyo, no, kung mananotice nyo, uh, 58GB lang yung drive C niya, while the drive D is 203. Then, may another partition siya, local disk E, so meron tayo dito 203GB. So, 27, 1, so, masyadong mababa ito. Ano, mababa? So, ano ba yung dapat natin gawin? Kasi, one, free of uh, 116, free of 203. So, ibig sabihin, nag-consume na siya ng uh, ito. Meron siyang uh, ilan ba yun? 100 113 113 na na-consume niya. So, yung dito naman, 27GB, so hindi na natin siya pwede i-transfer doon. Kasi masyadong malaki yung files. So, madami kasi dito eh. Halos music video. Yung mga ano. Then, madami siya. I don't know. Kung pwede ba tong 12, uh, uh, 58.4GB, pwede ba to sa Windows 10? So, pwede naman yun, pero masyadong mag mababa na yung kanyang, um, you know. So, 
hindi ko alam kung kakayanin na. So, ano ba yung dapat natin gawin dito? Okay. So, siguro, kailangan muna natin siyang i-backup or i-try muna natin. Ano? Okay, close natin. So, ngayon, uh, meron tayo dito yung flash drive. Um, ah, sorry. <clears throat> Meron dito tayong flash drive. So, itong flash drive na to, bootable device na siya, uh, which is Windows 10 operating system na nakalagay sa kanya. So, insert ko na to sa uh, USB port ng desktop, na, uh, ng computer na to. Or, shut down muna natin para to make it sure na hindi ito ma-virus. So, kailangan muna natin shut down. <coughs> Okay, so na-insert ko na yung flash drive. So, sana nakikita niyo yung keyboard ko. Yan. Ang gagawin ko, uh, kapag nag-press na ako ng power button, automatically magpa-press ako ng F2 or delete. Ano, pwede mo yung pagsabay yung F2 sa ka-delete para at least makapasok ka sa BIOS setup. Okay. So, power on. F2, delete. Press tayo. Press lang ng press para makatpas delete to intercept up. Okay. Yun yung setup natin. Ano? So, ito na. Pasok na tayo sa setup. So, yan. Okay. So, sana clear. So, from the setup, meron tayo dito ang boot. <coughs> boot. Then, uh, yung boot option, priority, then meron tayo ditong hard drive BBS. Select natin yung hard drive BBS, then dito naman, boot option number 1, double click natin to. Okay, so wala. Uh, hindi manotish yung... Okay, eto. Uh, USB device, BBS priority. SanDisk. Okay, first boot natin siya. SanDisk. Okay, then let's go back. Then, dito naman, sa boot option number 1, ito dapat dap yung first boot natin. So, dapat SanDisk. Ano, kasi yung pangalan ng flash drive natin ay SanDisk. So, first boot natin siya. So, dito, boot option number 1, sun disk. Boot option number 2, yung hard disk niya. Okay? Then, from that, uh, nandito, uh, tingnan natin yung option, press F10, save and reset. Okay. So, F10, then, save configuration and reset. So, yes. Yes tayo, then mag-boot na siya sa, uh, sa flash drive para makapag-install tayo ng Windows 10 operating system. Okay. <clears throat> so, press any key. Okay. So, gubot na tayo sa uh, flash drive ngayon. So, kanina, Windows 7 siya. Ngayon, uh, i-upgrade natin siya into Windows 10 operating system. So, medyo malakas yung ulan, kaya kailangan ko din lakasan yung bosses ko. Okay? So, kailangan mo lang dito is pasensya para at least magawa mo ang trabaho ito. Ano? Okay. So, yan. So, ngayon, isi-select na natin yung next. Uh, no need to change. Uh, language is English, uh, United States. Then time and currency format, English, United States. 
and keyboard input method is us so click next and click install now <coughs> ngayon ihingi yan sa atin ng serial key or product key then i-input natin yung product key Ayan. So, yan ay para sa product key. So, hanapin ko muna yung product key ko dito. <coughs> so, yung product key is YTMG3 then N6 DKC DK KB 77 7 M9 GH 8 H V X 7 Okay. Then once that we input the product key, uh, let us proceed now to next. Click next. Okay, then this is the licensing uh, um, terminologies. Ano? So, all you have to do is just to click the box, check the box, and para maging ma-activate or maging active yung next. Okay, click next. And from this, uh, upgrade install windows and keep file settings and applications. So, hindi natin yung gagawin. So, custom install windows only, advanced. So, ibig sabihin, papalitan natin yung operating system niya. Okay. So, custom install tayo. Select and, or click. Okay. So, meron tayong tinatawag na mga partition. Ano? So, ito, drive zero, partition one, system reserved. So, palagi yan. Palagi yan may system reserved. Ano? So, partition two, yung kanina, 58.5, si operating system yon Drive C. Partition 3, drive D naman yon Partition uh, 4 is the drive E. So, ngayon, kasi mayroong laman yung partition D natin sa partition E, so, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-delete o i-format. So, may, uh, mawawala yung lahat ng files niya doon. So, ang i-format lang natin, or i-delete muna natin itong ah, uh, Partition 2. Okay, delete natin para talaga totally clean siya. Ano? Then, select natin ulit yung unallocated space and click new. Then, click apply. So, ito na yung 58.8 natin. Okay, so clean na siya. Kung manonotice nyo, 58.5 GB, 58.5 GB, dun sa total size and free space. Ngayon, to make it sure, let us format this one. So, para mawala yung kung may virus man or may maano, yun yung pinakan the best. I delete mo muna siya, then i-format mo. Okay. Then, so, dahil sa hindi tayo nag-create ng partition, kasi mayroon siyang laman, ano? So, yun yung pinakan kailangan natin, ano? Kapag nag-backup tayo sa drive D o drive E ng, <laughs> ng, ng hard disk, na to, or ng computer na to, nilagay natin doon yung files niya. So, hindi mo yun dapat i-delete or i-format kasi mawawala yung files niya. Ang pinakang concern mo lang doon yung drive C, which is palagi yan partition 2. Ano? So, titignan nyo na lang dito. Uh, partition 1 is 99 megabyte. So, and it's clearly understood na system reserve siya kasi megabyte siya. Then, Lahat ng gigabyte dito, so lahat na yun, yun yung pinaka-partition ng uh, hard disk natin. Ano? Then, from that, kasi partition 2 is the drive C, doon tayo mag install ng operating system. So, we are going to click or select next. Then, aantayin lang natin siya. Kinokopyan niya na yung operating system. Uh, galing sa flash drive papunta na mismo sa 
hard drive niya or sa hard disk which is sa partition tube or that is called as um, drive C. Okay? So, aantayin lang natin siya matapos. So, yun yan. Uh, pinakang kailang mo dito is pasensya. So, aantayin lang natin siya. So, medyo mabilis to kasi 8GB naman yung kanyang RAM or yung memory. Anak. So, just hang on and watch. All you have to do is to to, you know, make your uh, patience uh, wide, wider ano, or make it very long, you know. Okay? Santayin lang natin. <coughs> so, sana malinaw na yung video ngayon. Ano? And... Sana continuously, tuloy-tuloy siya. At dito natin malalaman kung pwede ba yung 58GB, uh, pwede ba siyang insula ng may uh, Windows 10. So, tingnan natin yung capacity niya kung ilan ba yung na-consume niya. No. Okay? Anyway, doon naman sa pagbabak up ng mga files ni customer, pwede mo naman yung ila ilagay sa external hard drive, then ibabalik mo na lang siya, or pwede naman sa flash drive, kung maliit lang naman yung capacity. Pero kung malaki, then you don't have a choice, so yun lang yung gagawin mo. So hindi mo kailangan pakialaman yung ibang partition, kundi yung pakialaman mo lang yun, yung mismo sa uh, operating system. Uh, sa OS niya, which is the drive C. In that case, that is partition 2. Okay, so we are now on 55%. Uh, getting files ready for installation. So, yun nga, sabi ko nga kanina, uh, kinokopya niya na, or kinokopya na na system, or si plus drive, uh, tinatransfer niya na kay hard disk yung uh, operating system para hindi na siya magdepende kay flash drive ano so kasi si flash drive bootable device yon so hindi naman as always or hindi naman talaga totally magbuboot yung kay flash drive na makakapag-encode ka or anything uh, without placing it into the drive C so ito yung tinatawag nating installation process ano how to install microsoft Windows uh, Windows 2010 operating system or Windows 2010 operating system. Hmm. Okay, so halos para paras lang naman yung process ng Windows 7. Win uh, may chumahirap lang yung Windows XP. Ewan ko kung meron pa nun ngayon. Windows 98. Kasi commonly ngayon eh, um, wala na yung Vista uh, Windows 8 So, halos uh, Ngayon, ang pinakang ginagamit ngayon is Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 So, wala na yung Vista Wala na yung XP Wala na yung uh, 98 O, wala na yun ano. So, ito na Pero, unti-unti uh, Nafi-face out na din si Windows 7 At si Windows 8 So, pinakang trending ngayon Is Windows 10 As long as nakaya ng system ng computer mo so, why don't you so, try to upgrade now your operating system? So, we are now on 95%. <coughs> okay, 100% installing features, installing updates, and finishing up. So, napakabilis lang ng process. So, imagine mo kung 1 GB yung memory or yung RAM. So, medyo mabagal yun. Times 4 yung bagal niya. Then, click restart. 
So, this time, so, hindi mo na kailangan pa mag-press ng any key kung lumabas, lumabas man yun. Uh, hayaan mo na lang siya. Ito na. Okay, so, no need to press uh, any key. Kasi pangalawa, sa unang beses lang yan. Ano? Kasi, pag nag-press ka ng any key, back to zero ka, uh, mag install ka ulit. Ano? So, yun yung disadvantage. So, take note. Magpa-press any key lang tayo uh, kung mismong sa una pa lang. Ano. Pero kung pangalawa na, pangatlo na, so no need to press any key na ano po, para uh, mag-install. So ngayon, um, halos nilagay niya na sa hard disk yung operating system. Ngayon, si, yung operating system... Uh, makikreate na siya ng mga directory, mga folders, then uh, ilalagay niya na yun. Uh, Piplace niya na yun kung saan ba dapat siya sa drive C. Ano. So, may mga root directory na yun na tinatawag. Ano. So, getting ready. So, dalawa yung nagawa natin ngayon. Ano? So, yung una, na-troubleshoot natin yung desktop, motherboard. Ito na siya. Then, pangalawa, nag-back up tayo, then nag-install na tayo ng operating system. Then, so yun, at least uh, may nagawa tayo ngayong gabing ito. So, ngayon ay um, Webes. Webes, March 11, 2021. It's almost, I think, uh, 10 p.m. I don't know. Okay, so nag-restart na siya ulit. So, take note, no need to press any key. So, for the third, uh, second, uh, third time, so no need to press any key. Ano? So, lang. Sa una lang yun, ha? So, yun yung, sa mga estudyante yun kasi, uh, yun yung palagi nilang nakakalimutan. Kaya, while they are performing, you know, NC2 uh, assessment, so, ulit sila ng ulit kasi, nakakalimutan nila. Ano? I don't know. Siguro, tense na tense sila or talagang pressure or, I don't know, kinakabahan. Kaya ganun yung nangyayari. But then, more practice is really needed para at least ma-perform siya na mas maganda. So, pinakang the best doon is i-practice mo yung natutunan mo. Ano? So, try to install and install and install. Pwede ka nang mag- um, yun, mag-ayos ng computer. Na, pwede na mag-install ng operating system. Okay. So, this time, we will select uh, Use Express Settings.
Sa totally, kung nadidinig niyo yung ulan, talagang totally napakalakas ng ulan. So, sana hindi mag-brown out dito sa amin para at least uh, matapos ko itong installation process na to. So, makakaroon tayo ng malaking problema kapag uh, nag-brown out kasi wala akong UPS na gamit. Ano? So, sana. Sana, sana. Okay, nag-restart na naman siya sa pang-apat na beses. So, no need to press any key. Okay, yun yung pinakang kailangan natin tandaan. Ano? So, bumalik siya. Use Express Settings. <coughs> And, halagyan na natin siya ng username. So, yung username niya siguro is NetSerta, I think. Caps lock. Net certa. Okay. Net certa. And click next. So, it's up to you kung lalagay mo siya ng password or kung hindi naman. Pero kung hindi sa'yo, so, wag mo lagay ng password. So, sila na yung hayaan mo lagay ng password nila. Okay. Click next. So, just a moment, please. Uh, you need to wait. So, this won't take long. So, it is now setting up the application on this desktop computer. So, kailangan lang natin antayin na matapos to. Then, after that, okay na. So, tapos na yung installation process. Uh, 
Okay, so yan. So at this point, you can now remove the flash drive. Or the, yes, the flash drive. Okay, so we now remove the uh, flash drive. So ito yung bootable device natin for Windows 10. So kanina, kung man nakita nyo, so ano siya eh? Windows 7. Pero ngayon, Windows 10 na siya. Okay, let's explore. So, right-click, personalize. So, lalagay natin yung um, uh, yung my computer or this PC network um, and so on. So, that the, the desktop icon. So, that is under themes and desktop icon settings. And check mo yung computer, network, control panel, and even the user files. And click apply and OK. So from that, you can easily access the uh, this PC or my computer. So some Windows 7 that is my computer, then this PC naman sa Windows 10. Okay. Double click. Okay. So, okay, so 45, uh, 45.3 GB free of 58. So, meaning, ilan lang ba yung na-consume natin? Uh, almost 13 GB, 13 GB yung operating system natin. Ano? Yung Windows 10 operating system, uh, system natin, uh, it's only 13 GB. So, we still have 45 uh, gigabyte out of 58. Then, so lahat ng files niya nandito pa din. Local disk E and local disk F na siya. Kanina D, so ngayon F na. So bakit? Kasi may naka-insert tayong flash drive kanina. So ito yung local disk D natin kanina. Ano? Yung flash drive. So kasi naka-insert siya. Upon installation. So yun yung nangyayari. Ano? So... Pag nag-insert ka ng dalawa, tatlong flash drive, magiging, ano yun? D, uh, G, D and G. Okay, so yun. So, lahat ng files niya, nandyan pa din. So, yung games. Then, uh, dito naman, eto pa din. So, yung music niya, so nandyan pa din. <coughs> Okay, so let's check this. Open network uh, adapter settings. So, meron tayo ano? Kasi desktop to kailang uh, wired join. Wired, hindi siya wireless. Kaya, Ethernet yung nasa Okay, so meron na dito yung sounds dito. So, no problem na. Only that, ang problema lang nito, if I am not mistaken, doon sa uh, video niya. Or sa graphics. Windows P, ayun. Project. Wala siya projector. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan natin install yung drivers para sa uh, sa video o sa graphics. Para sa graphics. Okay, so that's how we used to uh, back up and install operating system into a desktop computer or also this is applicable for a laptop computer. This process is also applicable into a laptop, netbook, tablet and so on and so forth. Okay. Once that it uses an operating system, this is very applicable. Okay, so hopefully you enjoy the video. So all you have to do is to leave a comment if you have any queries. Uh, question, where, where I can get an operating system? I have my operating system here. If you want a copy of the operating system or Windows, 8, uh, Windows 7, Windows 10, server, and other applications, install, uh, installer, 
So all you have to do is to have uh, an email for me, send an email. Yung Gmail ko is alden.altamarino at deped.gov.ph So yun lang, ano po? So i-type nyo lang yun, then mag-send kayo ng message sa akin kung gusto nyo ng installer. Or you can send uh, you can have your comment into this video and sabihin nyo kung kailangan nyo ng uh, installer. So, isa-send ko sa inyo as long as ipadala nyo sa akin yung kung saan ako magsisend. Okay? So, thank you so much and magandang gabi sa inyong lahat.